Okay, so you look at the word success in the dictionary or Google, whatever source, and it says success is the accomplishment or aim of a purpose. No, that's not what it says. <laughs> success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Actually, I'm gonna go off each definition. So the first definition, the accomplishment of an aim or purpose, basically saying success can be anything. If you are in pursuit of going to the NFL and you deem that to be successful, once you get to the NFL, I mean, you're successful because that's what, that's the, by definition, that's what it is. If you want to be a celebrity, you want to be in movies, obviously once you're in movies and you're in the limelight, you're on the red carpet, you're considered successful or at least in your eyes that's what you thought think success is. But also, if that's the definition of, of success, I keep stuttering pretty bad, but if that's the definition of success, if that's the definition of success, then you got to think about it on the flip side. I'm going to sound I'm going to go to the extreme, but it's it's relevant. What if there's a serial killer? His goal is to let's say go on a spree and kill 15 people. Like I said, it's extreme, but bear with me. If his goal, if his aim is to kill 15 people and he kills 15 people, by definition, isn't he successful? He accomplished his aim or purpose, right? I don't know why I've been pondering about this idea of success for the past, I'd say like the past week, but it just made me think, if that's what we think success is, one, you can literally be successful in anything, and two, it just doesn't make, it just, it just doesn't make sense. So I got to thinking a little more, I'm gonna unravel my thoughts later, but let me go into the the second definition, the attainment of popularity or profit. And that is exactly what the majority of us think success is nowadays. We don't think we can achieve success without money or without fans, popularity or clout that people like to say nowadays. And then the last one, a person or thing that achieves desired aims or attains prosperity. So it, it kind of goes with the first one. Um, you know, you 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 accomplish uh, a goal that you set out, or you know, uh, like they say, an aim or purpose. So it's kind of the same, just worded a little different. All right, so I'm gonna unveil my thoughts on success. If a serial killer's goal is to kill 15 people and he achieves that he would be considered successful by definition but then that just made me think there's there's got to be something more and then you say the attainment of prosperity and profit if that's another definition of success there's got to be something more right i feel like there there needs to be it's a necessity to have a sense of fulfillment with success so, repeating myself, if that serial killer kills 15 people and he's considered successful, you, you have to think, he has to think, he or she has to think. Or maybe they don't, maybe they're, you know, suffering from mental, whatever. But there, there, there cannot be any fulfillment in that. Like at the end of the day, not literally at the end of the day, but at the end of things, were you fulfilled by killing people, making hundreds of family or hundreds of family members depressed and just sickened and sad is that fulfilling how do i put this it's ve it's ve it runs deep maybe it'll come to me later so let me verge from that topic really quick let's talk about the the aspect of or the idea of prosperity and profit bring success what if you're inheriting all this profit and this prosperity, all these fans, how do you explain the, the ones that had all the fans and money, but they kill themselves, such as Robin Williams, or Kurt Cobain, or a lesser known, Capital Steve's, a rapper that was achieving success. Um, there's gotta be more. There, it's just slipping my mind right now. Yeah, there's gotta be more. 
How do you explain the ones that kill themselves or suffer from drug addiction or just suffer from depression, just aren't happy? I saw a clip of Jim Carrey, world, worldly known, widely known across the whole world, uh, award-winning actor in classic movies, has all the money you can think of. He said, I want, actually don't quote me word for word, but it was all along the lines of saying, I want people to achieve all the success they want, get all the money they want, you know, become a celebrity, just so they can realize that it's not what it seems to be. Again, go look that up. That's not word for word. I think he said it on David Letterman. But just some somebody at his caliber of success, success, saying that just makes you wonder what actually is success. I don't think there is. I don't think. I don't think success is measurable. I don't think there's a cap on it. I don't think it's not a tangible thing. It's an idea. It's a concept. That's why they added the definition of prosperity and profit. It's a concept. You don't need money. You don't need fans. And I think it's more than accomplishing something. I think it's a sense of fulfillment that comes with it. And maybe I just sound like a fool. Maybe I'm just, and maybe it just sounds like I'm spitting crap out of my mouth because I mean, I've been successful in things, but I'm not successful. So I don't really have, I don't really have experience. I can't really speak down upon people. I'm just, I'm just stating my idea of success. I battle with it often. I always ask myself, okay, I want to do this, but why do I want to do this? Is it because of the money or do I actually love it? Will I, will I feel fulfilled in the end? And then I either keep going or I take a step back, reevaluate, and then just move somewhere else. For instance, this YouTube thing. I've made dozens and dozens of videos where I was getting a lot of views. I have videos with thousands of views thousands I got a lot of subscribers from certain videos but I had to take a, a step back and reevaluate why am I making those videos it, it's bringing success it's bringing views subscribers but for some reason I didn't feel fulfilled and the reason was because I personally one didn't care and didn't enjoy making those videos. They were all purposely done because I knew that they brought views. In conclusion, I just made all those videos private because I don't want to, I want to make, I want to begin to make content that I enjoy and that fulfills me. At the end of the day, this video here and my past few videos, they feel fulfilling because I'm actually doing something I love, which is talking to people and spreading a message. The other ones, they were just for laughs, views, I, you know, just, just stupid videos, really, really stupid videos. And it was just an odd feeling. I mean, I, I, was, I felt like Jim Carrey, where I achieved subscribers, which on YouTube, that's what you need to be successful. I was achieving views, which on YouTube, again, but there was just something inside of me telling me, this isn't my calling. This isn't. This isn't good for my soul. I just did not feel good. I'd have to, I was faking smile, I was faking a smile for the camera, acting like I liked certain content, certain things when I, at the end of the day, I did not care. I was just, I mean, it was a learning experience. I don't regret it or anything like that because without, without that experience, I wouldn't be able to, you know, speak like this. So I enjoy the experience, even though it, it was some wasted time. I could have, well, I guess it wasn't wasted either because Again, if I didn't go through it, I wouldn't be able to do this. So everything is just just constantly learning every day. I know I kind of went off topic about the success and all that, but I just real I just now realized I didn't even think about this before that I was experiencing what Jim Carrey was feeling on a very minuscule level. I mean, Jim Carrey's you know all the way up here. You can't even see it, and I'm like all the way down there. He was in multi-million dollar movies. Obviously, a multi-millionaire. And I, was, I wasn't even making a penny off my videos. And I was still experiencing the same feelings towards success. And like I said in the beginning, it's because I didn't have a, I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't fulfilling my purpose. I wasn't fulfilling myself. I didn't feel fulfilled. I feel like we need to, we need to phase out 
the idea of success or the pursuit of success because like I said, it's not measurable. It's not tangible. It's not, it's a concept. But there actually is, because you, you don't feel success. I mean, yeah, you can buy fancy clothes, have all the money, you know, eat fancy restaurants. You can feel good, but you don't, it's, it's not the success. It's, you know what I'm trying to get at? Hopefully. But you feel fulfillment. You can have zero dollars to your name. Go out on a stage and talk to hundreds of people, spread a good word, spread a good message, try to help someone's life. Like I am right now, I'm on YouTube not making a penny. But when I'm done making this video, I'll be proud of myself. I'll be fulfilled that, okay, I did something good. So I feel like we, do, we should phase out the, the idea of success and phase in the pursuit of fulfillment. And I'm just going to end on that good note. I know I just, I'm like a tree. Like I start like this, I have an idea where I want to go. And then I'm just like, the branches just go everywhere. But one day I've been practicing a little bit and praying on it that one day I'll just be able to talk linear and concise. And I feel like I'm getting better. This video is definitely better than my last two. So that's a, it's a step in the right direction. But as always, please send topics here at this email and I'll see you next video.